Hi guys, Rachel here. I hope everyone's doing well. So this is my January, February wrap up. My apologies for it being so late, but if you watched my previous video, you probably heard me explain that already. So we'll start with January. I think I already talked about the um, most exciting aspects of that month in my video where I showed off my Christmas gifts. Um, it was also the day that we went and visited the Isabella Stewart Gardner video. So, or I mean, <laughs> what am I talking about? It was also the day that we went to visit the Isabella Stewart Gardner. So um, I won't go over that again, but if you're curious, um, you can always check that out. So let's get into um, some of the ducks. And as I'm showing them, I will try and remember what I was busy doing. So in January, um, yeah, I was bringing this little bag with me everywhere. I think you already saw this in my um, Year of Tarot Ducks video. This is a little crocheted bag with some flashcards uh, for tarot that I made that go inside the bag. And I have this little notebook and this little Thoth deck from Make Playing Cards. So I was really on a roll in January with using this like every day. Um, and I am in love. I'm in love with this little Thoth deck. I love the um, this Make Playing Cards plasticky stock. It's so durable and this this shuffles so well. And I don't tend to riffle shuffle. I know you guys have heard me mention that before, but I feel safe doing that with this deck. And it's so shuffleable. This deck makes me want to riffle <laughs> shuffle. So um, yeah, you guys know that I love the Thoth. It's one of my favorite cards. I love the colors. Um, but yeah, I was really on a roll with pulling this out, using it, and and then like recording readings in this little journal that I would bring in the bag inside the purse, or you know sometimes I was just at home. But um, yeah, um, I was just writing, 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 and it wasn't all prompted by tarot. It was just whatever musings were going on or um, whatever dreams I was having. I don't know. They all seemed to be quite uh, prophetic in January and February, but especially in January. I feel like I already mentioned this, but um, January felt more like March for me this year. Uh, my mind was very active and I was just all sorts of creative. Um, and that's usually what happens to me in March. But now that we're in March, I'm feeling, I don't know, this calm con contentedness. But yeah, I was having crazy dreams. Like I kept having these dreams about finding a secret wing in this house. And I've had these recurring dreams for quite a few years. But this one night, I had the dream. And I won't go into detail. But then the next day, I went to the office. And about twice a year, maybe sometimes three, I go into the office to clean it. We don't hire someone to do it. I just go in, I dust, you know, I vacuum, I wash everything down. And while I was cleaning in the rehearsal room, um, I found a secret room <laughs> that I had no idea was there. 
and it was just, I couldn't stop gazing into it. It was like, especially after being on the heels of having the dream, I didn't know, I felt like I didn't know where or when I was. It was so surreal. I mean, it shouldn't surprise me. The office is located in a very old, beautiful building in the city, right? It's not like some some new building with cubicles or something. But it was wild. Um, anyway, so what else did I use for ducks in January? The egg rough. Uh, this was one that I planned ahead to use in January, but most of the decks I ended up using were just on a whim. This is just so beautiful. It's like a dream. One of my picture book decks. But yeah, my dreams, um... They're not so crazy anymore now that we're in March. Yeah, I know I show this deck a lot. It's so beautiful. I really love the, um, this is Piotnik, right? Yeah, I love the Piotnik cardstock. It's just perfect. So also in January, um, we had my daughter's birthday. And she had told me ahead of time, she just really wanted to go into Salem. You know, it's nearby. And it worked out really well because her birthday was on a Friday. And that Friday happened to be a half day of school. So... We went in and we um, now we ate at her favorite restaurants or one of her favorite places, and um, I don't know. We I bought her a Turkish lamp, so that makes two in our house, and I wouldn't be surprised if we got another one at some point. And. Um, I forget what else we got, but um, I'll just keep showing decks. Edmund Duloc was another one that I was using in January. Um, yeah. <laughs> I know what I wanted to show you. A couple of decks that I got when I was in town. This deck, I think I've mentioned this before, this works so well um while listening to music i you know while i'm giving readings to myself which is basically all that i ever do and again i was pulling out my little journal and just writing whatever like things that can be used as poetry later or something else. I don't know. So when we were in Salem, I got a couple decks. Um, I just couldn't resist this anymore. This Oracle, because I love George Barbier. Um, love, love his art. The reason that I didn't think I was going to buy this is because, um, these are the backs. As I mentioned before, I don't, I don't give client readings. So this is, you know, a love oracle and I don't know, but I think I could find some use for this for my personal readings. I just don't really have, you know questions like that anymore I don't know I've, I've been in a a very long-term relationship and my love life is quite calm <laughs> but there's all sorts of love right so I guess 
I don't know if this really needs to be designated to purely relationship readings, but that's always how I looked at this deck, that it would be for relationship readings. I also picked up the um, Murder of Crows Tarot because at one of our favorite shops there in town in Salem, they had a sale and they were selling all of their um, sample decks for half off. Some of them were 60% off. So I got Murder of Crows Tarot really cheap. I didn't bring it in here to show you because I couldn't find it. I recently went on a reorganization project. And I mean, you guys all know that deck anyway. But the other one I got was this little playing card oracles. Um, this is a mother and father and daughter father team. The father had passed away some years ago. Um, I had seen this around many times. Uh, I never looked at the cards. I just always saw, you know, this image here. But what made me buy the deck was a video of BB's Pure Red Velvet. She showed this deck in a video or two, and I was astounded by how beautiful it was. So thank you, BB, for showing us this deck. This is truly one of the most beautiful playing card decks, playing card oracles I've ever seen. And I kind of want to get the other one too. I'm really intrigued. And there's a book that I bought. And, um, Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can't really tell you too much about it. I was reading the introduction and this really seems worth a study. So I'm excited about that. I don't know when I'm actually going to start um, reading that <laughs> because I'm still in the middle of a handful of books. I'm not going to talk about books that I read uh in this video because I just posted my recent books video. So if you're curious, you can go there. But I love this so much. I And it was cheap enough that I even went, um, I think on Amazon and grabbed another copy because I don't know, one of the I don't know. If, I think it just happened in the factory or something. There's like this weird little little bend. You can't see it in all of the cards. And I just thought, why not? If it's something I'm going to use all the time. I mean, you can find it for really, really cheap at a lot of places right now anyway. Um, Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. I'll just show this quickly. You guys know I love this deck. Seriously, one of the best um, printings of a deck I've ever seen. You guys probably cannot see this, but for these images being so small, they are so crystal clear. You can see all the details in these little faces. It's amazing. I think I mentioned this in one of my videos from, from ages ago that it took me some years to go ahead and buy this deck. Um, I had been on the hunt for decks with um, Russian, you know, Slavic art that I enjoyed. And I never really paid much attention to this one because all I saw was this oval and all this heavy border and I didn't really pay much attention to how beautiful the art was because the images online just didn't do it any justice. So when I'd see it online, uh, it just, I would look at it very briefly and all of the images looked just very similar to me, just sim similar to one another. But I went ahead and 
got it one day and when I opened it up, I was just not expecting. I was just not expecting this. I highly recommend. Highly recommend if this is your aesthetic. It's Russian tarot of St. Petersburg. All right, let's see. Did anything else happen in January? I don't really think so. I think my my daughter had a band concert. Um, always just such a great time. <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, I forget what I wanted to say. All right, so the mountain dream. Oh my gosh. So this was... As I mentioned before, this was a gift, a very thoughtful gift from Meg at Rose Honey Ritual. And it just means so much to me. We were talking and I mentioned that, I don't know, I mentioned that I didn't have this deck and that it was, I think we were talking about decks that we wanted. And she's like, you need to have this deck. And was she ever right? I know I gave my thoughts on this in um, my Year of Tarot Decks video, the tag. And I had designated this to, like, summer, the summer season, um, probably August or early September. But yeah, I was using this in January a bit. Ugh, look at this moon card. And also, along with that, also from Meg, also by Bia Nettles. The 28 days, a deck of cards. This means so much to me. Let me just read the back to you. Enclosed are 28 photographic cards with images that metaphorically represent some of the emotions and physical sensations of the menstrual cycle. Medical text is intermixed with the artist's personal statements about her cycle. The cards are a blend of mystery, honesty, and humor, presented with the hope that they can open discussion on this universal but practically invisible female experience. The ideal presentation for these images is to lay them out in a continuous circle on a round table. In this way, the transition from day 28 to day one of the following cycle is continuous as it is in real life, a familiar spiral that continues for women for perhaps 40 years. So this deck just touched me so much. And thank you again, Meg. That's just, uh, um, yeah, I have a really, really hard time with my cycle. Like, really hard time. So it means a lot to me. Now, I don't have the space here to lay them all out in a circle for you. But see here this hand with this jar here. It says, first cramp, an unmistakable and familiar sign that my period is about to begin. Often this comes in the night. So I was using this, um, what I would do is I, you know, was, you know, at the beginning of my cycle, I would, you know, pull out a card and just sort of meditate on it, whatever day that I was <laughs> experiencing. And it honestly made me think about my body in a new light. Um, I wrote it down um, because I can't, I can't find my words right now, but let me see if I can find it. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I wrote down my feelings on the deck right here, so I'll just read it to you. It's finally clicked with me what it means to respect one's body. I think my head is usually in the clouds, and so I unconsciously view myself as all consciousness. 
all air and I'm not aware of my body. But if I think of my consciousness as being something apart from my body, it makes me more aware of my body as this vessel working so hard to live. And I thought, oh, you poor thing. Have I been treating you well? I'm going to take better care of you. It's more like a partnership of sorts when viewed this way. And it makes me kinder to myself. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I hope that that makes sense. And yeah, I mean, this, it is, there is humor in it. But especially for the time that, that this was made, she made this deck. I think this is from the, uh, when did she do this? Um, I don't remember. 1991, it says. Yeah, there just wasn't enough attention paid to what we go through as women. So that is, so that was January. All right, in February, let's see. Um, Dex. So I was using the Fyodor Pavlov. This was another deck that I planned on using ahead of time for February. And um, nothing too exciting in February. Still exp was still experiencing some crazy dreams. I started crocheting again. Um, after not having done it in quite a while. And I think I showed you guys, I made a cute little pouch for my pip speak and I want to um, crochet some more, but I don't know, I, I fell out of habit because I got really, really busy with work and doing other things and I got sick as you guys all know, but I don't know. I'm hoping to resume with that soon. Um, yeah, let's see. I'll try to move a little bit more quickly here. <laughs> what else did I use? Okay, Tarot Reincarnation by Anne Julie Asina. Asina. I don't know how to pronounce that. You can find this on Amazon. This is beautiful. I think a lot of you have probably seen this deck. I'll just show it very quickly. Um, I really, really dig these black borders in contrast to the white. Just really gives me a very retro like 80s sort of vibe and the colors are some of my favorite in a Marseille. I was a little bit bummed about the cardstock at first because um, they feel like not super thin or anything but they kind of have that slightly like punched out feeling to it which concerns me regarding like the longevity of the deck. I'm worried that it will make it um, chip or, you know, pull apart or like, you know what I mean? It can like separate. But as, as I've used it more, it's actually, it's, it's not, it's not too bad. The cards feel nice. The texture is fine. They're, they're not too bad. I, I've had worse. I don't know why that is so common now with so many different publishers that the decks feel punched out. I, I can't stand it. It's not a good thing. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, we went to Salem again because we had some really, really warm weather. And when we were there, a um, couple things that we got. We got some soap, like some fancy soap at one of our favorite places. 
and I had never, oh, it smells amazing, Queen of Tarts. Um, I, I was never tempted before because it's not cheap and soap isn't something that I really think about spending a lot of money on, but we've been using these soaps and we're thinking differently about soap now. Let's just say that. My boyfriend was like, you know what? My skin feels better. So I think the next time we go into town, we're going to get some more. I got these earrings, these little swords and these hoops. And on the hilts, there's like these little cat faces. So cute. Uh, also, oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I might have to save this for another video where maybe I'm I'm sitting on my couch, but can you guys see this at all? <laughs> can you see it? He's huge. <laughs> it's Godzilla. Um, maybe I'll insert a photo. Oh, he's shaking now. Like if you hug him or clap, he shakes. So I was carrying him all over Salem. We got him in a comic book store and... Uh, it was premeditated. I'd seen him in Salem a couple of times and I was like, I think I want to buy him. You know, he wasn't the cheapest thing. Um, but <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's, he's kind of big. He's maybe like the size of a, of a newborn or something. But I was carrying him all over town afterwards like a baby. And my boyfriend was like, we had a couple bags because we've been shopping. He's like, okay. He's like, I think we need to go to the car and drop some things off. And I'm like, what? I'm like, you just want to get rid of Godzilla. <laughs> it was like shouting and people were looking at us. I mean, I was just, you know, I was just being obnoxious. I was just joking around with him. I'm like, I'm like, you're just, you just want to get rid of Godzilla. And I'm like, I know what it is. I'm like, you're not embarrassed. He's competition, isn't he? I'm like, you're jealous. <laughs> He's like, that's right. He's like, I'm the only monster. Um, Yeah. So I also got um, some incense, Sea Witch Botanicals, love this stuff, and the Golden Dawn Tarot. I picked this up in a shop because they were, um, they had all these animals there. <laughs> Which animals are always going to make you buy stuff, right? They had this adorable kitty that walks around the shop and just sort of, it's the, uh, the shop cat. And they had some cute dog. But anyway, all of the um, purchases in the shop that day, the proceeds went to um, one of the animal centers, animal shelters or something that does really good work for the city. So... I wanted to help out and then in addition to that I I donated and they gave me some free rocks because I made an additional donation but anyway yeah the um the golden dawn you know um Robert Wang I have his uh what is it called the Jungian tarot and I have the books for that and I have, um, oh, what is it called? You know the one, the um, Kabbalistic Tarot or whatever the title of that is. And I've been so stoked for such a long time and I, I still need to get into that stuff. Um, what else for ducks? My Yonasa Yaus. Um, I'll just show really quick. Yeah, this, I have three editions of this. And I think, I forget, I forget which one this is. I forget. Um, but you guys know that this is a favorite of mine. And, um, let's see. All right, this was a gift uh, from Honey Lou. So I bought the Adapt Tarot from her and um, she gave me this little, this is an Italian printing of the JJ Swiss. So I have a copy of the JJ Swiss uh, 
printed by AGM, I believe. And I think my copy is from 1971. I don't know what vintage this is, but it's probably around the same time. You know, the box is pretty old. So it's interesting to have this edition, and I like them both. So this is like, you know, I'll say that this is like, feels like a cheaper edition. The cardstock is thinner, and there's differences here. There are no titles on the courts, and the saturation is different. I love the backs. I love the backs. Like, I don't know what it is, but I want this in my house somewhere, like as a tiled floor or as some upholstery or something. I just love it. Um, it would be fun to maybe do a side-by-side, -side, but I don't know if I will actually get around to that. But yeah, I was really having fun with this little deck. I really love it. Um, that was so nice of her. What's interesting about the JJ Swiss is that both of my copies, my vintage copies, were both gifted to me. And I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it at all. I had no idea she was going to give me this. Uh, and I didn't know that I was going to be gifted the other one. And the other one was gifted to me by someone who I would least expect. It was one of my boyfriend's colleagues, um, musician friends. He, I was, you know, I'm friends with him too. And he knew that I was into tarot and he was cleaning out his office one day and he, he gave it to my boyfriend to give to me. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> and it was in pristine condition. I also recently picked up the, uh, the newest printing of the deck, you know, because it's good to have one that you're not as worried about dinging up because it's not vintage. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, they're up here. The Seashell Oracle. Oh, this deck is so beautiful. Now I was using this like every day, um, January into February. I forget when I stopped using it. I don't know why I stopped using it actually. Well, wait, I kind of do know why, but still I could have easily continue to pull this out in the morning like I was. And I think, I feel like this was affecting my dreams as well, this deck. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at that. That is such a dream. I was in love with this deck the first time I saw it. I tried not to buy it because, I don't know why, I just was trying not to buy it because I wasn't sure if I was <laughs> going to use it. I have oracles, but I don't use them as often. I just forget. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like this season I've been, I've been having fun with them. So I don't really need to show you this whole, you guys know how beautiful this deck is. Um, and I, I love everything about the sea and shells. So this is, this is a Rachel duck for sure. Um, yeah, I think the reason I stopped using that was because of this duck and the Oracle Alma Boss, Boss, the Oracle Alma Boss by Grimaud. This is from 1982. So, um, I don't know. I, I love this. I know I showed this in one of my videos. I forget which one. I think it might have been my picture books. Yeah, my picture book decks because it makes me think of picture books. It's just this really funky oracle and I've been using it. I've been pairing it with a couple of different decks and it works so well in a pairing. And the book is great because it's in French, but also English. And this deck has been scaring me a little bit because the readings that it has been giving me are, uh, I don't know, it's not the way that I usually read for myself. So it feels a little like 
you know, predictive um, fortune telly, which there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't tend to do that for myself. <laughs> so sometimes it scares me a little bit. Like not, not anything too bad, but... Um, Yeah, these are the significator cards. So I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to try to remember to show you what it looks like with a couple of these decks here. Um, okay, this one. Okay. Let me get this out. Let me be very careful with this one. This is... I don't have the box with me. This is the... Um, ninth dimension tarot. Okay. So I had wanted this deck for quite a while and I didn't think I'd ever find it. And I ended up finding it when I wasn't looking for it. I was like, oh, oh my God. So oh, I wish that the cards were a little thicker because I'm so afraid to use this. But I have never, ever seen such colors in a deck. What is it? Like, what is it with this vibrancy? Like, how do they get these colors? Look at this. This is perfect. I have not found these colors anywhere else. Um, I've been thinking about color a lot lately, probably because we've been trying to shop around for some things for our home. And I am so not pleased with the colors that are offered nowadays when it comes to anything for the home. Like you go into any place, like we were in Jordan's Furniture recently and there's like no color. Gray, white, different shades of navy blue. Um, and then the colors that they do have are not really, they're, they're like dimmed down so as to make themselves, I don't know, like inoffensive or something. Like red isn't truly red like it used to be. It's like this cheap brand of ketchup or something. I don't know. It's, look at this. I've never seen such colors. But when I'm looking for curtains or um, upholstery or um, comforters, you know, I want color and patterns. You can, you know, I, I find things, Urban Outfitters. But, um, yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Does anybody else know what I'm talking about? Okay. I bought some curtains at um, Target recently for my living room because I couldn't believe they actually had a color. They are like this, um, this gold, this goldenrod color, and they're like this velvet, and they're very pretty. But I wasn't going to pass them up because it was the first time in some years actually that I have found anything like even the greens like stop with the the sage and the sea green which is not even really a sea green it's like everything is dull like it belongs in a hotel do you know what I mean but these curtains I was you know impressed with the curtains I have in here are like this red velvet that took me years to find but they're vintage I found them I found them on eBay Okay, I will stop ranting about color. Um, before I forget, a couple of other things that we did in February. Um, yeah, I mean, it was like cold. We were sick, didn't do much. But we were watching some movies. I We watched, um, and we got back into some of our Doctor Who. Uh, like, my daughter and I have fun with these classics. We watched the newer series too, but like these ones from the 70s are fun and also <laughs> like we love we love the incidental music in these. It's so funny. And um Dr. Shivago, my daughter had been wanting to see this for some years and I decided that she was finally, you know, she was old enough. I mean, I've loved it since I was a child. Uh 
Meg and I had recently been talking about this and I think that's what prompted me. I was like, yeah, I'm like, I think my daughter can see Dr. Shivago and I think she needs to see it. Seriously, one of the best films, one of the most beautiful films ever made. And maybe I'll talk about that more later because I kind of want to make a video about the films that we've watched. Um, the Jean-Claude Flournois Dodal. This was one that I finally just decided I had to get. And this has been giving me incredible readings. I would love to share some of it with you, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to get like too personal. But this is one that looks really great um, with the oracle that I was showing you. See? Um, so I'm going to try to move a little bit more quickly. I know you guys know this deck. I just, I love the size. I love the Dodal. I, so I have um, three different Dodals. I don't have a, a facsimile facsimile one. Um, just, uh, I don't know, just because it's not really my favorite facsimile. Um, I, I'm sure I'll change my mind on that. I'm sure at some point I'll be like, I need a facsimile, but um, where is it? Okay. So I talked about this in my last video, so I won't, and also because I'm running out of time, I won't talk about this too much right now, but the Adapt Tarot, as I mentioned, I bought from Honey Lou. Oh my gosh, thank you, Honey Lou. This has been incredible. So let's see um, if I can show you this with the Oracle. This is what I've been doing a lot. Like almost every day I, I was using the Adapt Tarot with the Oracle Alma Boss. Doesn't it look great together? Oh my God. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not talking much, but <laughs> I'm just, I'm so, so, so smitten with this deck. It took me a long time to decide that I was going to get it. I'm so glad that I did. Um, I just love everything about it, the size, the stock. And I, I mean, I'm not going to repeat myself because I just talked about it. But yeah, it was really tying into my dreams and giving me some really good writing prompts. And yeah, I was using the this guy as, you know, like a clarifier. And it was just so much fun. I say was. I'm, I'm still doing it. Uh, another one is the Dinosaur Marseille. I wanted this deck forever. And I was trying to hold off buying it. And then finally one day I, whoops, I was, I had this feeling. I was like, I better get it. And I did. And the seller wrote to me, you know, that she was shipping it out. And she told me that I got the last one. I think that there's going to be another edition. So if you want this deck, uh, don't worry. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure... If you love dinosaurs and you love Marseille, I mean, what is not to love? Oh, my God. <laughs> is this not the cutest? Oh, yeah. So also for movies, we watched um, in February, we watched Arsenic and Old Lace. Uh, that's been another favorite of mine for years and my daughter had never seen it and she really loved it. This deck has extra cards too. So it's sort of like a, you know, like a Minchiati. 
it's just perfect. Look at this. <laughs> it's, oh. I love it. Yeah. Um, is that it? I, I also, well, I've been talking for about 45 minutes now, so I've run out of time. There was a couple of other decks that I got, I was going to show, but some other time. And also we, we were buying, um, records as a family. I mean, we already had a bunch, but we've been having fun with that. And I was going to show them, but not only is there not really time I don't really have, it's hard to show them. They're pretty big. So maybe I'll do um, another video soon. But that's it. That's just sort of like a uh, brief, I guess you'd call it, recap of January and February. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.